What's up you guys? I'm back. I'm back. And apparently my dog, my dog has separation issues today. She will not just leave me alone. She cries every five seconds. <laughs> Anyway, I've been kind of absent, kind of wanted to post a lot of videos, kind of in an editing mood, went on a small family trip, and now I just feel more alive, and I needed a break, and I needed to focus on me, and I needed to get healthy, and here I am. Last night, oh my god, baby, last night I edited two whole videos, and like 40 pictures, and six different photo shoots, so I was like, tonight I really want something to edit. And it was just kind of nice to sit down with my computer. So that's what I'm going to do. Um, I kind of wanted to do a what's in my makeup bag. Because we post a ton of makeup. But usually what I post isn't what I wear. Um, just because we want to try different things. Okay, you're done. Okay. This may or may not be a heavy caffeinated drink. Because your girl's struggling. Okay. First off, I'm in love with my makeup bag. I got it from Charming Charlie, and it is the cutest thing ever, and I absolutely adore it. Do you see I'm talking about? You can hear her cry. Fiona! Anyway, everyone always gives me shit for wearing a side ponytail, but that's just the way my hair falls. And I prefer not to look bald when I have my hair up. Okay. The first palette I go to all the time, regardless of the situation, is this one. Um, I originally had... This is actually the first little palette I had from Huda, and I just thought it was very pretty. And then I tried this, and I was like, I don't really wear pinks because of my skin complexion, and I'm really white, and really pale, and really ginger. It's the best thing ever. I absolutely love it. I use it for every, every day. Uh, so, my actually, my favorite setting powder is Makeup Forever. However, if you're on a budget... This is fabulous. I got this when I was in LA because I ran out and I didn't really want to spend um, that $45 for an expensive one when I had some back home and so I heard everyone talking about it. You'll smell like your grandma, but you'll look good. I have it on right now actually. It was just one of those things where I got it and it looked good so I was like, we'll keep it. Blush, Morphe. I mean, you can't really tell I use it, but I just do these two um, because any darker and I'm going to look real weird. This one's a really pretty highlighter. I don't know if you'll be able to see it. But it's super pretty. So that's what I use for blush. Um, I used to not wear blush. Okay, you want to see the holy grail of holy grail? So I found this three years ago when it first came out. And I think I've gone through four of them. The Urban Decay um, Shape Lifter. So you have powder on one side. And creams on the other. Whoops, you can't tell I use this at all. But, so I actually use these for contour, the powder for contour, but if it's like a heavy, like I need a lot, or I'm going out, or clearly you can tell I put this to good use too. So these are my two favorite things. I use this all the time. I'm actually completely lost without it. I, I've had like other contour palettes, but it's so slim, so it fits into a bag real easy, because you know some of them are huge. They're like enormous palettes. Like I have palettes over there that are contour palettes that are bigger than my eyeshadow palettes. And I'm like, the fuck am I supposed to do with this? I love this. I love it, I love it, I love it. I should do a foundation tag because my studio is literally like Sephora. I have 10 different, 10 different foundations over there that I kind of like bounce back and forth through. Um, right now, I'm obsessed with this one only because I had a picture taken the other day and I was like, oh my God, I look flawless. But, Huda is also on my top list, and actually MAC is too. If I am on the more paler side and it's dead of winter, MAC looks amazing. I love it. Let's see. So highlighter, you're going to laugh at how beat up this is. Well, I guess it didn't look that bad. ColourPop, um, they're a very cheap company, and at first, you know how you get kind of weary about like, oh, should I buy something cheap? Will it last? Colourpop's legit. I mean, if I if they had a store that sold them near me, I'd probably buy all of them. 
but I, once again, am so pale that I really have to try it on on person or I'm just going to look like a fucking Oompa Loompa, let's be honest. So, primer. I go back and forth. At first I wasn't using primer, and then I was like, I'm a fucking moron. Then I was using, like, stuff I found at Target. No. Then I found this, the Optical Illusion, but I had a mini one. And I was like, oh my gosh, this is amazing. Then I ran out, and then, I don't think I have it over here. No, I went and just got some cheap primer, and then the other day I ran into this at Sephora and was like, why the fuck did I stop using this? Got it. It's amazing. If you need a primer, so it's really thick, and I tend to wrinkle up right here in my hair because I'm always, mostly I just need to wear my glasses, but I'm always like squinting, so it fills it in, and it's super thick, and the makeup just goes on flawless. That actually may be what makes my skin so flawless, but I love it. Okay, all my ginger friends, um, Urban Decay now has a brand named Ginger Snap for all of us who struggle finding makeup. Like, I don't know if you can see that. Here, we'll do it this side. How gorgeous is that? Like, that's what I have on my eyebrows right now. I literally, ah, I buy like 10 of them in case they ever run out or like discontinue it because this matches amazing. And it's got um, a pencil on one end and ink on the other. It's the best thing ever. Anytime I run into another ginger, I'm like, oh my god, you know what I have that you need to try? It's this. And I like whip it out because you never know when you're going to need it. Uh, mascara. So I bounce kind of back and forth between, between Kush and Marc Jacobs. They're amazing and they're thick. And that's what I need. I have really long lashes, but my lashes are blonde. So... I've been bouncing back between them. However, Lancome, I just found these. And these are fabulous. Like, I don't know if you can see, but that's what I have on right now. I don't even have fake lashes on. Like, those are my eyelashes. And that's Lancome's. And I have never used any of Lancome's. I mean, I used Lancome when I was, like, in high school for powder because it's what my mom wore. And she didn't want me really wearing makeup, so she got me powder, which I'd go back to it. I should actually do a video tag on that. Like, what I wore in high school. However... I got this the other day. You guys, this is fabulous. Anyway, I highly recommend this. I think this is gonna start being my go-to. It's not as thick as Kush or Marc Jacobs, but the length is impeccable. Okay, I'm a big Huda fan. Don't really stand for what she believes in, but her makeup, girl, you are fabulous. So for concealer, I use the Huda Beauty, um, oh my gosh. I need sleep. I use the Huda. Ugh. I use the Huda Beauty Concealer. It's amazing. It's so thick, and it's just flawless. However, you do have to put it on pretty quick because if you put it on, put it on, and then you dab it in, it dries, and then it's completely uneven. So do one eye first, then do the next. I love it. You won't find a better concealer than that. However, Makeup Forever 21. Makeup Forever. If you need a found. Oh my God. However, if you need a really thick, ultra, like, finished, no lines uh, concealer, Makeup Forever has one, and it definitely, like, I had nothing. No lines, no dents, nothing. If you're really that sleep deprived and you're more sleep deprived than me, then try that. But this works amazing. I am really obsessed with these from Stelia. These little liquid liners. I also have this on right now. Um... They just look pretty. I have them in all the colors. This was the setting powder I was talking about. Too Faced and Makeup Forever. Those are my two favorite. Um, for eyeliner, I do Benefits. Little um, roller liner. I used to use their Roller Lash Mascara. However, it was one of the first ones when I started experimenting with makeup. And I was like, oh my god, this is amazing. But then I was introduced to like other... And at first, I was like, this is the best thing ever. But then I realized I just hadn't been introduced to like the really dark brands like Marc Jacobs or Kush. Wasn't even out at that time, but those apply way thicker. So if you're just going for a natural look and you don't need a lot of mascara, definitely go for Roller Lash. However, if you want a lot, I'd still go with what I'm using. I am so impressed by Lancome, it's not even funny. Keep my NARS because 
This one is the closest to my skin color where if I'm in a hurry and I don't have time to do anything, I can just throw it on. With MAC, I tend to have to, it's a little paler, so I have to contour more, add some color. Huda is a little bit on the dark side, so I have to add more of like setting powder and concealer. This just really matches me pretty, um, it, but it definitely washes me out. So it's more of like a day where I'm just gonna go with the family and say cheers. Back to Urban Decay, their little highlighter palette, sparkles everywhere, is very pretty. I had the big one of these for six years when it first came out. I don't know if you can see that. Eh, I'm that white. Anyway, it's really pretty. Like, the Tarte one, this is really good. It's just not one of my favorite. Another Tarte one, it's okay. I mean, I want my lashes to really pop, so I tend to get the thickest mascara I can and put it on, just because my lashes are blonde. And so, I really need something from start to finish, and that works out really well. Um, right now, I have Beauty Vault's lipstick in here. I'm obsessed with them. They're an amazing company. The girl is awesome. One of my friends. Um, I love them. That's what I'm wearing right now. Sometimes I'll throw on some of the little shimmer to make it pop a little bit more. But my two main lipsticks are um, About Amy because it's very neutral. And then... Um, Bare Minerals, it's just like a pinkish tone. Kind of depends on my mood. So that's kind of it. I know someone's going to ask what brushes I use. So I got these really cute unicorn brushes. If you notice, like, everything in my studio is unicorn. Like, I have this unicorn diffuser. I have unicorns, like, all over the place over there. Right by my thing, it says, Embrace Your Inner Unicorn. So everything that I own is unicorn. So I found these, and there's, like, four or five of them. I found them at Target. I got them and I use them. They work okay. I mean, they're not the best, but. And then for everything else, um, I use the Morphe brushes. I really want to get Jeffree Stars. So that's on my to do list when I have time to just go out and buy random makeup. But until then, this is what I have in my makeup bag. That's kind of. It kind of varies. I mean, this is like the stuff I keep on my desk. Um, I don't know if anyone's ever used this. It's the Hyper Real Foundation from MAC. It's pretty. You have to do it just right or it eats, literally eats your foundation off your face. But it's very good for like if you're gonna go to Coachella, which I didn't go to, but next year, that's where I'll be at. Um, for eyebrows, I used to use Anastasia's Dip Powder because it's fabulous and thick and amazing and you can draw with it. However, once I found Urban Decay's little ginger snap one, I don't think I will ever go back just because not many companies make something just for gingers. So I really appreciate that and it makes my eyebrows actually match my hair color. So, um, that's pretty much it. Oh, if you also, this was the other eyebrow utensil I used to use. It's Benefits and it's their little pin. I loved it. It was cute. It's like my backup one, however, it's not ginger. Um, most makeup companies, for some reason, think us gingers have brown eyebrows, which some of us do. Like mine, mine change. Like in the summer they get real red, in the winter they get a little brownish. But we're not as brown as it thinks. So, and then on my desk I have um, my little lipstick thing and the glorious quote: "May your coffee and your eyeliner be even." I used to use NARS. I guess we'll just go with what's on this too. I don't use it anymore. This was the worst concealer I ever had. Didn't cover anything, looked horrible, just was not great. Like, pointless, really. Um, oh, Bites lipstick is amazing. If you like little crayons, they're like crayons. Um, they don't stay on that long if you get this version. However, they pop when you wear them. That's what it is. Um, I'm really trying to do this more. It definitely is kind of a nice break from reality to just sit back, make a video. Um, now that I'm kind of on my way of relaxing a little bit. And we got the TV mounted. Ha! Ah! That TV's mounted. And then the TV that I'm actually able to see myself while I film this up in the corner, it's mounted too. So, that makes my little heart better. 
but I am trying to film more. I'm trying to get out of this weird funk I'm in where I don't like how I look. I don't feel comfortable in my body. I think every girl goes through that when they reach the peak of their weight. Like you just feel so out of yourself that you don't want to put yourself out there. And that can't happen anymore because I enjoy doing this. So yeah, so definitely trying to make more videos. So just subscribe and like and support your friends and I'll be making more.